We are feeling true North pride after our country's best in film and television were honored at the Canadian Screen Awards last night, where Room earned a post-Oscars glow. I was on the red, hot red carpet to catch up with all of the stars. Hey, so we're here at the we CSAs. Are. I know, pinch yourself. It's happening. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty cool. It's a real pleasure and an honor to meet you this evening. Thank you very much. This is all like a lovely, lovely dream come true for us. What does it mean for you uh, to be toasted and celebrated by the Canadian Academy? Well, it's lovely to be on oh, your own home ground. They usually despise me. <laughs> That's not true. Just another Canadian, you know, idiot. No. It's a battle of the absolute blockbusters. And of those absolute blockbusters, it was Room that dominated the glamorous gala with the Canadian-Irish co-production earning nine wins. It feels pretty, pretty nice that, because I'm from Canada. Yeah. The movie Room was filmed in Canada. And that meant awe-inducing moments from this year's award show darling, Room star Jacob Tremblay, who has been stealing hearts here and in Hollywood ever since the film started earning Oscar buzz. Last night, the little leading man was named Best Actor. I can't believe a kid like me won against a bunch of amazing, talented adults. Terry Hart caught up with Tremblay backstage in this Entertainment City Hello Canada lounge after his big win. What did you feel like when they read your name? Like your heart's pounding. There were lots of laughs to be had thanks to show host Norm Macdonald, who pitched an excellent idea. We were doing rehearsals and I asked, what is the statuette called? And they said, it's called the Canadian Screen Award. And I said, well, that seems kind of dull. And they said, well, we've been bandying around different names. Something they mentioned was the candy. And I think John Candy, the statuette should be called the Candy. What do you think of that? Can you go along with that? And of course, Martin Short received big kudos, the Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm thrilled for you. It's Thank really, you really, much. really been an honor to watch all through this time. Uh, Thank nice. you. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> to me, in the world of comedy, bar none, there is no mind smarter, no mind faster, and no mind funnier than Marty Short. What did you think of Eugene Levy's um, introduction of you tonight? Oh, it was beautiful. He's my best friend. It's insane that, that we're both up there. I said to him when we were walking off stage, where did 44 years go? Eugene Levy was himself a big winner. His show Schitt's Creek won nine awards, including Best Actor in a Comedy for Levy, who beat out his son and co-star Dan for the win. So was it kind of weird being in the same category? I don't think anybody else in the world has ever been in this situation where they're competing with family and kids and parents are competing for an award. It's a very strange thing. <laughs> and Levy serves as inspiration for the cast of Sunnyside, which made for a surreal night, as the stars told Terry, after they won Best Sketch Comedy Series. Just so cool to be such a part of such a, 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 an awesome tradition in this country and to have, like, Catherine O'Hara and Eugene Levy here and presenting awards and winning awards, and, and when we get to be part of that, too. It's really, it's really cool. Awesome. Remember to get all of your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.